First tonight, the terrible weather. Where else are we going to start? They've been for so long, and yet when they came for some... Blizzards and sub-zero temperatures of the so-called beast from the east. Hello there. Well, for the first day of March has felt anything but spring -like. Storm Emma's surging from the south, putting southwest Britain and Ireland on threat to life alert. ...to cause some significant travel disruptions. Two storm systems have combined to deliver wintry chaos. The beast from the east and Storm Emma... Blizzard-like conditions through the latter stages of the day and spreading up into Northern Ireland Three overnight. people lost their lives here in a collision between a lorry and a car. An incident Lincolnshire police have connected to the hazardous Four driving conditions. killed on icy roads, one a seven-year-old girl. In fact, it's been miserable out there with a significant Dark wind temperatures chill. and heavy snowfall across large parts of the United States. Another man died in a separate crash in Cambridgeshire. Today we've got a red weather warning for the southwest, for Wales as well. It means Some were stranded in their vehicles for hours. And so we've got amber weather warnings into South Wales and the southwest, but we have a red top tier. That means take action. Right, good morning everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thanks for watching. Today is a uh, Thursday for me. Thursday the 1st? Is it the 1st? I think it's the 1st. Yeah, it's the 1st. Sorry, that was a really high-pitched noise then. I do apologise. Right, let's get crack a in. We are in the beast from the east. Uh, Severe weather uh, patterns all over the place. One minute it's snowing, next minute it's sunny. It was yesterday anyway. Right now, as you can see, it's pretty icy. We are down by the river, so I do need to be careful on the way out. There's a good chance that out the high street is a hill. I might not even be able to get up yet. I mean, should, should be able to, but you never know. Car coming from the left. Oh, that truck's parked on the left as well, so I can't see past it. Uh, there's a car on my right, but I can't go anywhere. Come down here. Just told him to go on the other side of me so I can get round. Oh, it's skidding. That was a skid. Not a skid. Wheel spin. That's the word I'm looking for. That was a wheel spin already. So yes, um, today's Thursday. We've got two runs scheduled for today. We're going to Newbury now. We're on our way up to Newbury. And then the uh, next run we've got to go to is in Halesmere. Is it H Halesmere? I think it's like that. I think that's what I say it. It's up sort of past, well, it's near Hindhead Tunnel by... Um, before Guild, Guildford, I think, but after Petersfield. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be different weather patterns, I think, all over the place. It's pretty icy out here. Oh, someone's got a fire over there. Someone's, someone's got a bonfire going. That's one way, one way to keep warm. That's my mate. Good morning, Mr. Ashford. You are currently um, on the vlog. Good morning, Mr. Clark. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? Yes, marvellous. I'm uh, currently sat in a little quarry called Shonko, waiting to get loaded with sand to go to Bristol. How are you? As I was saying, sorry, my rude friend interrupted me while I'm vlogging. We're on our way to Newbury and at the moment I'm doing 15 miles an hour and skidding a little bit or wheel swinging going up these hills. They're not, like, they're not even hills, they're just roads. So I gotta be a bit careful. I saw a motorbike earlier. Like what sort of madman are you? Or woman, depending on you know what sex you are. But what what sort of person rides a motorbike in this weather? It's just a death wish. It's a bit like the cyclist in front. 
Here's a patch of ice. He's going over, mate. That's why I'm staying back. I am staying back. Um, so, the A34 appears to have some sort of major accident on it, as per huge, because there's idiots on the road who can't drive without causing accidents and ruining it for everybody else. So, I mean, I don't know the facts yet, so it's probably a little bit, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word too early to be speaking. Uh, so yeah, the A34 is closed, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go on the M3 up to Basingstoke and come into Newbury that way, by the looks of it. I'll have to keep, a, keep an eye on the A34 up until I get to Winchester and then make a decision. There should be some signs, if anything, saying that there's some delays on the A34 by the time we, when we get to the motorway. So we see, we will see, we will see. Yeah, there was a, an accident on the motorway the other day, wasn't there? On the on the way down, um, there was there was a fatality. Something like 20 to 5 in the morning, a 19-year-old was driving a minibus with I think two or three passengers in, and there's the the passenger in the minibus in the front got killed because the 19-year-old by the looks of it, and I'm just going by what I've seen and heard, drove into the back of a lorry. So again, if that's true, that's just an inexperienced 19 year old idiot who's not paying attention, driving way too fast for the road conditions. It's just, and I'm sorry if you know him, and that seems a little bit harsh on my side, but just idiots on the road. You, you've got to drive carefully, man. Like, the speed limit's down here is 40. Am I doing 40? No, I'm doing 25. Just drive to the road conditions. Anyway, that's enough moaning for the day. Probably not, actually. I probably will moan later on. Hopefully you enjoyed the last vlog I did um, when I done that walk. And I, I, <laughs> I re-watched it and it does appear like I'm almost um, sort of acting up for the camera a little bit. And I swear to God I wasn't. I was genuinely crapping myself. It was actually quite scary going up that country lane. Because it, it, was, it was a lot darker than it seemed on the camera. And I just couldn't see anything really. And when that car come down, I honestly, I literally clapped myself. Because the only thing up there was like a farm and I, I thought I was gonna get told off or something or ask what I'm doing. And I'm just, you know, big guy in high vis. <laughs> also, apologies if the dash cam footage does not look very clear. Obviously it's snowing, it's leaving stuff on my windscreen. I've just filled up my washer with uh, um, windscreen fluid and nothing's coming out. It's literally froze, so. It's alright at the moment, I can see, but I might need to stop and put some hot water on the windscreen to try and free up, well not the windscreen, the wipers to try and free them up a little bit. But I can see, so that's, it's not the end of the world, I can see, and hopefully you can see as well. Right, so we, uh, we've come off the motorway, we're now on the A339, and uh, I think because the A34 is closed, everyone's now just using this road to get down south and up, you know, up to the Newbury, basically. So an otherwise normally quiet road is actually quite busy. And obviously weather conditions means everyone's driving a little bit slower. So yeah, it's just one of those days where everything is going to be a little bit slow today, which is fine. It's all about being safe. I just spoke to my dad on the phone and he was, he just basically said, drive safe, don't be an idiot. There's no rush. To which I replied, I know there's no rush. I said, I'm out tonight anyway, regardless. Even if the plan closes down and there is no more work to do, I'm still out tonight, ready for tomorrow. So I'm not in a rush. 50 mile an hour speed limit down here and I'm doing 35. In fact, it's now, no, there's 56 mile an hour limit down there. 40 actually, because single, 50, 50. Oh, 50, yeah, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> God trying to think in the snow so um, yeah it's, it's a little bit busy on these a roads does that car had a crash in the ditch he's had a crash it's just traffic accidents everywhere like people just not driving safely and I understand right I know you could be the best driver in the world and you could still have an accident whoever's caused that accident on the a34 made it close it might not have been their fault. I mean, they might have got on a bit of ice. They might have been completely innocent. They might have been doing well under the speed limit, driving safely, and they just caught them out. 
He could be the best driver in the world, but there's mistakes that happen, and it, it can happen to anyone at the end of the day, can't it? I've made mistakes. Lord knows I've made mistakes. I hit a bloody sign the other day. I've hit a house when I first started driving. Although technically it wasn't a house, it was a shed, just FYI. People, people think it's the house. I've, probably because I put down I hit a house on the YouTube channel, but it, it turns out it was a shed. I just haven't changed it. <sighs> so yeah, it's just a sea of white everywhere. Beast from the east can kick. I was going to swear then, but I bet better not. <laughs> Beast from the east can kiss my eh. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Right, let's crack on. We have got another 13 more miles to do before we get to Newbury. Um, it might take half an hour or so in this uh, at this speed. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, sit rep. We are in Newbury, and the roads themselves don't appear to be too bad. The roads look like they've been well gritted. It's just uh, the roads getting into Newbury were sort of mediocre. The weather itself ain't bad, like I said earlier. It's just people on the road just need to drive a bit more sensible. I can only apologise about the state of the windscreen. I don't know whether it's going to show up on the dash cam or not. Like I said, I can see out there fine, but there are like marks all over the windscreen where the washers aren't working. Well, they're working, it's just frozen. It's minus four degrees out there. Minus four degrees. Inside it's 27. Nice and toasty inside. Right, we're just around the corner from Build Base. Let's go around this roundabout. Wouldn't want to do a, a hill start on that road there. Oh, we slid a little bit then. That was a bit slippery, that roundabout. Rather than going round the roundabout, we sort of went a little bit straight, even though we were turning. I wish we messed the line up a little bit. So, I mean, due, we're going to build base. They could either be really busy with trucks or really quiet. Could be anything. Oh, by the way, someone spotted me on the A339. I think it was A339. Um, you put your hand up, so hello, thanks for watching. You'll have to remember this was recorded on Thursday the 1st. And you were heading sort of the other way to where I was heading, obviously. <laughs> Right, just go straight over this roundabout. Is it clear on the right? It's all clear. I know there's a speed camera there, but we're turning off. This road could be icy, thinking about it. Let's have a look. I think there's a car coming up behind that van on the left. I might have just spotted it in the corner of my eye. Nope, nothing there. Oh yeah, this is slippery. I'm slipping. Sliding. We are sliding. Whatever, okay. Hazards on. There's one truck in there getting tipped. Looks like a small one. And then it's me going in next, by the looks of it. So we're just sitting tight and waiting until we can go in. Right, we just got tipped. It is cold out there. First thing we need to do is line ourselves up so we can get out. Got to reverse out now. Bit annoying. And it's weather. I, uh, I sprayed some window cleaner on my wipers in the hope that it would free it up a little bit. It appears to have worked. Wipers are going and spitting out water. Screen wash. All right, I've got to have both windows down just so I can concentrate a little bit and hear anything.
<clears throat> yes, I know there's a speed camera. Which reminds me actually, I better put down where I'm going. Recent destination. Days at Southampton. So I believe we're reversing onto the road. Matey Boy hasn't actually said anything, but we we'll start directing ourselves that way. 11.59 ETA back in Southampton. Slowly getting there. Let's put these windows up and crack on. Right, so I pulled over and had a quick look at the old sat nav just to see where, uh, or how we can actually get back down to Southampton. Because obviously we come up via the A339 from Basingstoke. And I could go back that way, back down to Southampton, but I've just had a look at the old sat nav and it's suggesting that I take this route, which is the way I would normally go back down to Southampton. The A34 southbound appears to be shut and it's shut before Tot Hill services and after Tot Hill services. So I could go straight over and have a half an hour break into the house at Tot, Tot Hill services, I think it's called Tot Hill, if I wanted to. But if I take the first exit, I can run parallel to the A34 for about a mile or two and then rejoin on the A34 after the road closure. That's the plan. It's so quiet because it's closed before, so no one else can use the route other than people coming from this way, from Newbury. So, um, yeah, looks like we're gonna skip most of the traffic. We're only gonna be off the A34 for a couple of hours, so which is really good. I got an hour and two minutes left of drive time, and apparently ETA back two days is an hour and one minute. So, foot down, and then hopefully we can park up around the corner, get an hour, 45 minute break in, because I need 45. Thought I needed half an hour then, I need 45 minutes. And then, um, yeah get loaded and go to Hellsmere. Thing is, it is, uh, time's getting on. <laughs> Basically, I'm not gonna be in Southampton Depot until gone half past 12, quarter one. Pardon me, by the time I get out, and then to Hellsmere, it's gonna be nearly four o'clock, I think. Three, it's gonna be at least three o'clock. So it's gonna be a, a late one tonight, because when I started at five as well. It's gonna be a 12 hour shift at least. That's right, I'm used to them. Right, here's the A34 coming up. Between washers decided to freeze up again. It's minus four degrees right now. So it should say road closed on the A34. Tempted to have a look. Yeah, it says police closed. 
Yeah. So we can't go on the A34, which is fine. Road closed because I want to take the first exit this way. Now, it is a, an unnamed B road, so it could be icy. Um, <laughs> let's hope not. But it looks like we're only on this road for a little bit and then we join back up onto A34 again um, after the road closure, that's what it looks like. I mean, we're going to find out, aren't we? We'll turn right down here. <coughs> Told you, beast from the east can kiss my ass. <laughs> Where there's a wheel, there's a way. Oh, that looks well slippery down there in that village. What's that village called? Burdekla. Bur Burdekla. Come on. Yeah, Beacon Hill. This doesn't sound the most lorry friendliest place. Two miles from now, and then we should be back on to the A34. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south, delivering HGV Class 1 and 2 courses, as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses, and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price beat they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, we got three quarters of a mile left to go on this road, on this White Hill Road. And it is white as well. What a coincidence. That's the ironic, isn't it? It appears we've caught some traffic up. It looks like we're not the only ones to have come out of this sort of idea. Or well, sat navs anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're hopefully going to be joining on to the 34 in a minute. And also, according to the old sat nav, there is an hour and a half worth of queue coming the other way. So we should see a lot of traffic as well, which means there's an accident back there a little bit where we come on. Right, this is the moment of truth, everybody. Are we going to be allowed on the A34 from here? If not, we're going to have to turn around and go back via Basingstoke. We should be allowed. Yeah, this is it. This is the slip road. This is the slip road onto the A41, A A49, I think. But there is no traffic, not even northbound. My sat nav says there's loads of traffic, but there isn't. It's all been cleared. Oh, okay, if the road was closed, it'd be closed here. We're getting on the A34. We're on. We're on the A34. That's good. Right, let's crack on then back to Southampton and get loaded for Halesmere. Right. So we're in Halesmere now. Where's he going? And it does not look very friendly for HGVs. Oh, that's slippery. Oh. That's very slippery there. Ah. So we're nearly there now, we're like a mile away. So let's crack on. Doo -doo -doo. Getting closer. Just trying to go nice and slow down these roads. I don't want to cause an accident. I've um, had a phone call from Days, and that's it for today. There's no more runs. But not only is there no more runs for me to do today, there's no runs for me to get loaded for for tomorrow. It's a bit weird. I'd like to go back and get loaded for tomorrow, to be honest with you. He said, um, he said don't come back in t uh, until tomorrow, but no earlier than 7 o'clock. So... On the plus side, it means I've got a long rest period because I'm going to probably be parked up before four o'clock. So, um, 
Yeah, that's a long rest period, it's like 15 hours rest. But I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Oh, I'll go slow because I'm going down an hill here and this looks quite icy. Like I've said before, I'll say it again, the beast from the east, kiss my ass. I'm actually quite annoyed because everyone seems to be having tomorrow off. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is quite steep. I am not going fast down here. I might not even be able to get back up here yet. Have I got to stop? I'm a fully loaded 44 tonne lorry going down an icy hill. What can go wrong? Yep, I'm concentrating. This is only getting steeper. Jesus Christ. I might have to ditch this truck. If I start losing control, I'm gonna have to ditch it left into the back, into the mud to stop. I'd rather damage the truck than risk someone's life. Stop changing gear. Holy schmoly. Oh, slid a bit there. Using both engine brake and foot pedal. This is tense. There's a queue of cars behind me, but Sodom. Right, lay off the brake pedal a little bit just to cool the brakes down. I was on the brakes pretty much all the way down there. That's tense, that's quite a steep, steep uh, declining hill there and it's quite icy. But I'll go back up that again in a bit. At least I'll be empty. I'm committing myself in three, two, one. I'm committed. If that changes, I have tough titties. Sorry, I realise I've been swearing a bit too much in this vlog. I do try not to swear. Right, less than a mile left to go. I'm glad I recorded that. That was tense. I could quite easily have lost control of the vehicle then at any point. Ha ha ha. This is an A-road, but like I said, it's, some A-roads are fine, some A-roads are quite icy. You've got no idea what's around these corners, could be stationary traffic, so I'm trying to take it nice and slow. Currently doing just over 20 miles an hour in the 30 mile an hour limit. Oh, it looks quite white over there. Has that been a, is that a crash that's happened? No, I think someone's just broken down. Motorbike repair. You buy any bike.com. Looks like they're selling the bike. Oh, there's an Arctic there with hazards on. It just makes me worry, like why is he stopped? Looks okay. I swear I saw a full-size Shrek in the passenger seat of that truck. You know, you know Shrek, the green character. Jesus, that road is icy down there. Oh, that's a hill coming up. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth left I've got to take. That is a hill. Other side of those traffic lights. Do not really want to be stopping on that hill. There's cars parked on the left. 
I need to gain some momentum to get up this hill, mate. Don't stop. Please don't stop. I need to keep going. This might be bad. Oh no. Okay, this is gonna be real bad. Diff lock is on, so I added power. Mate, get over. Jesus Christ. I see a lorry coming up a hill and you just keep coming down. Never mind, sorry. Getting quite stressy there. This would be fine any other day, do you know what I mean? It's just today. Right, next left. Oh, this is tense. We're in, anyway, we've got to go left here and then take a right up another hill by the looks of it. Oh no, that is another hill as well. And it looks even worse. I have to put the diff lock back on again in a sec. I mean, I am indicating. Oh, we're sliding. Diff lock on. We do not want to lose traction. We're gonna to have to take this bump a little bit faster than I'd like just to keep going. Okay. I'll just set the alarm off on that car because of the deep noise. Put the old hazards on just to let people know that I am a hazard. I don't know where I gotta go. Never been here before. There's enough room for people to pass me if I go up here. You can see the bags. I've obviously gotta go somewhere near the bags. Big bump. Right next to a train station. Right, I'm going to have to get out and ask someone where to go, I think. I'm pretty sure I've got to go in there. But it's always best to be double check and be safe. Right, <laughs> see you in a bit. Man, did you see that? That's a car on its roof. These roads are unbelievably bad. This is the same hill that I nearly lost, oh my god, they just nearly lost control. That car just nearly went straight into me then. His wheels were going left, but he was still coming towards me. I've got my diff lock on just to try and get up this hill and I'm trying to keep moving. No, don't change gear, God's sake. As long as I get to I mean, this is an A-road, but I was going to say, as long as I get to an A-road, I should be all right. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. BMW, there's nothing in front of you. Keep moving, you're holding me up. I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. 
I was spinning then. Just need to get above this hill. I can't remember, <laughs> sorry for shouting. I can't remember if there was any other bad roads after this. I am fully expecting to have to put my hazard lights on to say I can't move. I thought I was going to get stuck coming up that hill. We're at the crest now, so I need to back off just in case I do lose control. These roads are incredibly treacherous. Remember I said, uh, beast from the east can kiss my ass. It's well and truly kissing it. It's giving me a good spanking is what it's doing. I ain't got stuck yet though, so Luke's in HDV one, beast from the east, none. Right, we need to take the first exit at this roundabout. And then, oh uh, yeah, we're not far away now from the A3. This roundabout was very slippery. I nearly lost control earlier on this roundabout. Give way to the right. Okay. Losing control, diff lock off. Tunnel's closed. Cheers, mate. Not using the tunnel. Yeah, we're not using the tunnel. We're going over the tunnel and straight back towards Southampton. Right. I think that's the worst of it. I mean, the roads are still pretty rubbish, but. Uh, That is, I think, the worst of it. Nearly had a car hit, come into me then, back there. Like I said, he was turning left. I could see his wheels turning left and he was still coming towards me. But he found grip at the last minute. It's worse now than what it was when we come into Halesmere. Is this how you pronounce it as well? Halesmere, I don't know. Like, tomorrow's Friday, don't walk in the road. Tomorrow's Friday and, um, I go home on Fridays. <laughs> There's a chance I might not even be able to get home yet. Which is not funny. I'd like to go home. I'm hoping the A roads are going to be fine. We're nearly there. This vlog is going to be longer than uh, usual, I think. You're not going to let me through, are you? No. No one's going to let me through. And obviously they're quite right not to. I've got to give way to them. Well, he's not indicating to them where he's going. He still ain't indicating. That sort of pickup here didn't indicate once. He's turning right and he just never indicated. I think he was letting me through anyway because he's going slow. Um, so my sat nav says there is no traffic. It's lying because we are in traffic. Never mind. Right, uh, hopefully we can get back nice and safely. So we're on the A3. We've just gone past Petersfield. We're trying to get back to Southampton, but there's just traffic everywhere. It's four o'clock in the afternoon now and come up past four. Everyone's, everyone who's actually still working is going to start driving on the motorway again and the road's just going to get even more worse so I am actually contemplating parking up in a lay-by um, somewhere over here I'm pretty sure there's a lay-by coming up soon where I li I've liked the idea of parking in before because well, you can go for a walk and I know it's cold out but I do fancy still going for a walk and just sort of chilling out having a view or something I don't know I just don't fancy driving. Like I said, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm only 25 miles away from Southampton. It's saying I'm gonna be an hour and a half. There's just traffic everywhere. Literally everywhere. We're doing 25 miles an hour on a road I could be doing 56. I don't even wanna go into lane two because I don't, I just don't wanna lose control or anything. I might go in this lay-by coming up if it's free. 
just want to get off the road. There's no point driving on the road. I've got to park up tonight anyway. There's just no point driving on the road if I don't need to. I believe this is the lay-by I was thinking about. So I'm going to park up in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm parking up here for the night. I got food on me. I got hot food, I've got cold food. I got all the food I could want. This is a nice, wide open area. Path, bins. I can go for a walk if I really wanted to. Turn those wipers off. Yeah, I'm staying here tonight. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is a car losing control and hitting me. We're done. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was about. Oh man. That is, according to the lorry, it's minus two degrees outside, so it's not the coldest it's been. According to BBC weather, outside it is minus three. There are flood warnings in places, all sorts of places. 42 minutes worth of traffic ahead, look. Look. Look, 42 minutes worth of traffic. There's just traffic everywhere. As soon as you get to Portsmouth, as soon as you get to Portsmouth, absolutely screwed. And don't even get me started with Southampton. Look at Southampton. <laughs> it's just a mess. So yeah, that's it. We're done for the day. We are gonna get everything ready. Um, get my clothes ready for tomorrow. We're staying here for the night. I've got to be, like I said earlier, they don't want me in Southampton until 7 o'clock tomorrow. So I don't need to leave here until 6 in the morning. And the roads are going to be a lot quieter at 6 in the morning than what they are now. It's just best for a large vehicle such as myself to be off the road. The roads are just too dangerous at the moment, I think. So we'll park up tonight and um, we'll start early again in the morning. Morning everybody. I say morning because it's now the next day. Uh, it's Friday. At the uh, time of me writing or uh, recording this. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update as to what's happened today. So, the beast from the east, uh, I think is one. <laughs> um, I parked up just south of Petersfield last night. And uh, we drove to Southampton this morning. And as soon as I got there, they said they're closed. They said they're not operating. It's too dangerous to be operating in the yard. So I've been sent home. So I'm now in Cricklade. I'm just around the corner from our yard. It's uh, 20 to 9. But um, yeah, unfortunately, we're done. We are done for the week. And um, the beast from the east has won. I've seen multiple cars on their roofs uh, over the last 24 hours. I've literally just seen one as well a car on its roof i wasn't recording using my main dash cam my my dash cam which is always on uh, which, which i suppose you could say is the main one I may have got it but i don't know it's quite the windscreen is quite dirty over there in that corner so it might not have got it properly but yes unfortunately we're done for the day i mean i'm i'm happy to carry on working to be honest with you i quite enjoy driving in this snow and i know you can't see anything i ain't got the dash cam set up so i know you can't see it but it's very it's very snowy and I quite like it. I'm doing 10, 15 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour speed limit because I can't go any faster without fear of spinning out and losing control. So yes. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully the weather clears up ready for Monday and then we can actually get some work done. But until next time, drive safe, especially in this weather and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.